Hey everyone, Token Dave over here. The dorky token black guy was just trying to get by. And welcome to another edition of The Lowdown. Here, I give a quick review of a recent movie that has just come out, and today I'm going to give you all the lowdown on Breaking In. After the untimely death of her successful father, Sean Russell and her children are spending the weekend in his mansion to help straighten things out and sell the mansion as well as other properties of his estate. However, four recent paroled criminals have broken into the mansion, kidnapping Sean's kids, forcing her to try to fight her way back inside the house and save her children. I'm not going to lie. I had no interest in seeing this movie because the trailers made it look really, really bad, you know. However, at the time of this recording, it is Mother's Day and Mama Hawkins loves Gabrielle Union, so... I had a ticket to see this, and not going to lie, pleasantly surprised at the outcome of this movie. Don't get me wrong, it is still Black Panic Room, so pretty much if you've seen Panic Room, you mostly saw this particular movie. However, Panic Room got a lot of praise to be honest, and I wasn't as drawn into Panic Room as many people were. I see... Breaking In and Panic Room, pretty much on an even keel, predominantly. One thing that I'll give Panic Room, though, is the tension was better. And this movie, the tension was there more than I expected, you know. And this is a movie that has a lot of good ingredients. We have a good director. I keep forgetting his name. That This is a director that I like. He actually directed V for Vendetta and Ninja Assassin. Two movies that I actually did thoroughly enjoy. And he also directed the series Sense8 on Netflix. So we actually have a decent director in this. We also have a good cast in this movie. Gabriel Union is awesome. There's a pattern this year for me so far in two black females having killing it in the lead roles of movies that predominantly are below their caliber, you know, but they're just trying to get themselves out there, you know. But Gabriel Newman is not the only good person in this movie. One of the only people that I actually liked in the Twilight movies was Belle's father. And the same actor that played Belle's father, he is the lead criminal in this movie. And he actually gave a good, good performance. Surprisingly enough, you know, there's another person that I actually like. If you've watched the Lethal Weapon TV series, Detective Alex Cruz, he's in this movie too. And he plays more of the psychopath of the home invasion crew and he did a good job playing the psychopath very similar to Raul and Panic Room but still I'm actually surprised that we have like a good director and we have three decent actors that gave decent performances just because you have those ingredients does not mean that the movie is actually good because a lot of things are fairly predictable there is a scene where you're actually like what the hell is wrong with you why don't you just do this? You can do something. Also, this movie does run longer than necessary. I know that they tried to add additional tension in by tacking on more scenes and more things, but eh, the movie really isn't that impressive and there was no need to try to extend this runtime because pretty much, you know, this is a normal run of the mill break it in home invasion movie in the likes of panic room and there is not as much material there so there was no need to try to extend this movie more the movie is pretty much run-of-the-mill uninspired a ripoff of something else and while the tension is there it is not as intense so all i gotta say is i would not recommend going to the movies and watching this in the movie theater but on streaming and DVD rental, you know, this movie might appeal to some, you know, and I can see why. It's better than I expected, good director, great performances, but nothing much to really, really praise about. So yeah, Black Panic Room, aka Breaking In, is I. Agree? Disagree? Please, drop me a comment below, give me a like, follow me on Facebook at Token Dave, or on Twitter at Token Dave 80, subscribe, and ring that bell so you know when a new video loads. But until then, this is Token Dave, Dorky Token Black Guy, who's just trying to get by, and I'll catch all of you later.